Also, hello everybody, it is a power week, it means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI update. This time is for February 2022. Let's go through it. So first of all, we're going to talk about the new formatting payment for mobile. You still have to reuse the visuals that you have for the web version, but you can format the visuals differently if it is for mobile or if it is for web which is a very much needed improvement. I still think that we need to have mobile uh, visualizations. So visualizations fit for mobile phones. It's, they are not the same, they should not be the same, and that needs to be added. Also, I would like to have just visualizations, not to reduce the visualizations you have for web or mobile, but just to create a different report on mobile. Hopefully it will come soon, but this is was definitely needed, so thank you for that. So the new format pane is going to be on by default, but don't worry, you can still disable it at least for this month. So I had to disable it because Charticulator didn't have all the properties in there. There were some properties on visuals missing that I needed. And I had some crashes, for example, with setting styles, it crashes. It, it does crash for the old version too, I'm not sure why. The good news is that you now can share feedback directly from Power BI Desktop. So go there, if you have something that is missing or crashes, just give them feedback so they can improve the pain, okay? So if you're using multi-cards, before it was not possible to select multiple items on the multi-card to highlight or filter the rest of the pane, it is now possible. Dynamic M query parameters. I created a video explaining what that is. I will put it here here using BigQuery. The news is now you can use SQL with dynamic M query parameters. It's actually quite a neat feature, so make sure you check it out. Update some Power BI goals. Here's the thing, they are going to bomb you with notifications on Teams. They will be able to send you goal assignment notifications, mentions, when somebody asked you, and status update notifications. So hopefully these will follow the notification settings you have in Teams, so if you don't want them, you can disable them. You can now have multiple owners for a goal. Should you have multiple owners for a goal? Probably not. But if you still think that you should, now you can. And hidden in the text, it was that you can now have goals for your private use, which I think is quite a good thing. Nobody will see it, only you. You don't need a license to use them. Probably it's a way for them to have you test the thing. And it can only be published in my workspace. If you want to share that, you need to have a pro license. But still, if you want to give them a go, now you can with a free license on your workspace. Okay, if you create a Power BI report on the desktop, published to the service, it's in live mode and is um, either has a scheduling refresh or you modified it using the XML a endpoints, before you couldn't download it, now you can. Now, if the report has been created in the service directly, you still cannot, so be careful with that. But otherwise, you're available. the download uh, Power BI is now available for you. So who wants to have dark mode in Power BI? I'm sure you do, don't you? Okay, so now it is available on the Windows app. What is the Windows app you're probably asking? Well, it's an app that you can download from the store that will give you the Power BI service experience. So no, it's not available on the desktop yet. Does this mean that they're getting closer to release it on the desktop? Maybe, who knows? But it is available on Windows app, just so you know. Now, the biggest and best news ever is the Charticulator and Charticular is basically a custom visual developed by Microsoft that allows you to create any custom visual you want in the world. It's absolutely, brilliantly, amazingly done. It's now certified. Yay! So the next step is put it in Power BI Desktop out of the box. Please, there is actually a idea here where it says, hey, we would like to have it. Please go and vote. Stop watching this video. Click down below. Go and vote because we want that thing in Power BI Desktop. If you want to know what Charticulator does, I have a second channel where I put publish videos on Charticulator. It's amazing. You can create things like 
these. Just so you know, I did not design these things. These are Makeover Monday's uh, reports that I just recreated and charted to see if it was possible, okay? Not my designs, just wanted to, to know. Well, I, some of them I modified, but still. Now, web view 2 is now required on Power BI Desktop. What does it mean? Well, it's a component that is going to get installed together with Power BI, so you don't need to download anything. But I heard from customers that I have problems with that. So please check before that you will not have problems in your environment with this component. And if you do, wait for the, you know, push in the update, okay? And now if you want to have any kind of geographical mapping capabilities in Power BI, you need to enable them first. And just know that your admin can disable that. So if you don't see any maps, that's probably why. Why they are doing that? Well, maps need to leak your information out in order to be able to give you back the position on a map. So they are basically sending out information from your organizations to whatever service. And some organizations allow that, some don't. So if your organization don't and you don't see any maps anymore, this is why. Okay, so what is your favorite feature this month? For me, it's for sure Charticulator. The mobile team are getting closer to have something that will allow to create mobile reports. Please, please, please. I want to have individual mobile visuals that would be the final straw to actually start using mobile reporting. So and dynamic inquiries with SQL is going to be big. I, I think the implementation is actually quite cool, to be fair. So those three, but note that there are no improvements on Power BI desktop whatsoever, except for the mobile thing, none. And that worries me deeply. I actually run a poll, obviously completely biased to people that watch my content, but unanimously Power BI desktop, people want to see updates on Power BI desktop. And that is, that is the thing that we're not getting. We're getting nothing. So please, Power BI team, reconsider. The Power BI desktop needs updating urgently, urgently. And um, not having any updates is just not useful for anyone. You need to put more time and dedication to that because there's just lacking features that makes it hard to use, to be completely honest. So hopefully next month we will get more Power BI desktop updates. Who knows? I'll see you again next week. Thank you for watching and uh, have a nice weekend.